Hello everyone and welcome back to my introduction to C series. Today we are going to talk about some basic data types in C and we're going to get started right now. So let's go over some basic data types in C. So the first type of data that we're going to store in our C programs is numeric data, specifically whole number numeric data. So the first type we have, we've already discussed a little bit, which is the integer type. It typically takes four bytes of memory and can store around four billion unique values. The next type we've also touched on, which is a long, which takes eight bytes of memory and holds about 18 quintillion different values. But there's a couple more types of integer data that we can store. There's also a type called a short, which in C is represented by short or short int. That takes two bytes of memory and can represent around 65,000 different values. There's also the care or character, which occupies one byte of memory, and this can hold 256 distinct values. As you may recall, characters can also represent ASCII letters. So let's talk about fractional numbers for a second. So what if we have, for example, a division operation that's going to result in a partial number? Well, we have types to handle that. So the first type is called a floating point, which is represented by the float keyword, and it occupies four bytes of memory. We also have what's called a double precision floating point, or just a double, and that occupies eight bytes of memory. So the next type of data we have is Boolean. And Boolean simply is a true false value otherwise known as a non-zero or zero value, meaning that any integer value or otherwise that is anything but zero is considered to be true, while a value of zero exactly is considered to be false. However, there is no native bool type in C, as we'll see as we get into actually writing some code. There is a type that's added by a library, but it's not native to the C language. Last but not least is the string type. So if you've done programming before, you might know in some languages like C Sharp or Java, there is a string type. Well, C does not have a native string type. There is no such thing as a string in C. In C, strings are represented by a bunch of characters that are strung together. We'll see a little bit more on how those are represented in code once we get to that point but I just wanted to bring that up as an additional data type. It's not an official data type as part of C, but it does exist and is a thing. So that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to provide a quick overview of some of the native types that are available in the C language. So in the next video, we're actually going to review how C works and then set up our development environment and actually start writing some code. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. Also go ahead and click the little bell there so that you get notifications when new videos in this series drop. And I will see you guys in the next video.